guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today is my favorite time of the month, playing my TBR game. Hey guys, editing Katie here because, well, I filmed the actual game like two weeks <laughs> past already, and I'm just updating you on how I did last month for June's game. Wow, I can't believe it's already August. For June's game, let's see, let me go into my, is it July or June that we were doing? No, July, how we did in July. Why did I say June? How we did in July. So for July, we had two games. We had to play my dice game, and we also had to do a uh, TBR on the wheel. So for the dice, we got, we did two rolls, and each one got us two times, so we got two books per roll. So the first one was, uh, it had to be fairy tale and a classic, and they both had to be review books. So for those, I had to read The Lady Vanishes by Ethelina White, which I did read, yay. And then Ariadre and the Legend of the Fire Rose by Christy A. Cole was my fairy tale. Uh, and I have not continued with reading that, unfortunately. It just the month got way... Yeah. Anyways, uh, then the second role was to pick a woman's fiction and a sci-fi, and both of those had to be review books too. So for the woman's fiction, it was Meet Me at the Starlight by Rachel Hawk, which I actually do have a copy of right next to me. And I am currently reading it this very day. And I will get it done before the end of the month. So I can cross that one. Check. And the next one is The Gateway by James Lance. And unfortunately, I only got about 10% of the way in. I'm not sure how I feel about it right now. I don't know. I don't know if I'll continue it or not. I'm going to try, but it's not going to be completed in this month. I really doubt it. I'm going to try, but I don't think it's going to. Then the Wheel of Prompts, I got five rule, five spins. The first one was First Pinterest Photo Inspires Book, and for that one I chose The Paradise Snare by A.C. Crispin. I am actually going to be skipping reading this because I'm actually going to be buddy reading it with a friend of mine, so I'm not going to count that against myself because we just decided to buddy read it together later on. Then the next one was Mount um, Book Cart, so anything on my book cards and it ended up being Mountain Laurel by Lori Benton. And I read it. I'm so excited. And that will be, I'll talk about it in my end of the month wrap up on Thursday. But you have no idea just how many people have probably said, when is she going to read this book? <laughs> and it's finally done. I am so excited. Anyways, so the next prompt was Five Star Prediction. And for that one, I was going to read The Sisters of Corinth by Angela Hunt. Finished that one, loved it, and I knew it was going to be at least five stars. Then a book you don't know anything about. I chose Darkness Calls the Tiger by Jane Eyre Trump. I'm currently about 20% of the way through. I am really going to push to try to get it completed before the end of the month, but I don't think it's going to happen. And then the next one was uh, signed by the author, and that was Brand of Light by Ronnie Kendig. I am currently 50% of the way through, so that should be completed and done by the end of the month. So that's the plan. But I knew I wouldn't I would not complete this TBR because of my birthday and it just gets so busy in July and August. So I'm not doing a punishment because this was the first time I did my TBR game, but we will have punishments in August. So we'll see. And I I thought I had an idea. Somebody gave me an idea and I'm still thinking about it. I'm working on what I want to do. If you all have any ideas for rewards and punishments, let me know. I'd love to know. And, but yeah, so that's, that's what happened in July. Let's go ahead and go back to the August video. So if you're new here, I have a spinner wheel of, I think there's 11, I could be wrong, <laughs> 11 different games on here uh, that we're going to play. Some I made up myself, some I twisted a little bit from a friend's games, but we're just going to have a lot of fun and we're going to see what we get to play. There's a few on here that I'm kind of hoping to get this month, like, a mood read month I would not be mad about. Uh, I'm not taking a punishment though for July because it was the first month we played this and it was my birthday month so we're just going to give myself a little freebie there. Uh, and no, I did not finish my TBR but we will go through those books as well. But first, I want to spin the wheel and I am going to start on like where we ended last time. Which one was it? <laughs> wheel of Prompts. There it is. Wheel of Prompts we landed on last time. We did two we did Wheel of Prompts and uh, Roll My TBR. So this month I'm kind of hoping for like a mood read. I'm hoping for Katie's Bookopoly and I'm hoping for Flip My TBR. So any one of those. And 
I'm spending a little bit early just in case I get Katie's book Opley because I have not made a board yet. Yeah. So if that comes up, I have to go make a board, which is a good idea that I'm spending early. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to spin and we're going to see what game we get to play this month. That was a good spin. What do we get? Okay, TBR Star Jar, which we have actually played on this channel before. So that's the game we are going to be playing for August. And thankfully, it is right up here. I don't have to go downstairs or anything. This is my star jar. There's a different color stars, and each one goes for a prompt. We have green, which is my friend pick jar, which I hope I don't get any because, side note, I broke that jar <laughs> during filming a few weeks ago, and I still have not replaced it. So if that comes up, uh, I might just put a poll on Instagram and let you guys choose a book for me because, yeah, that jar is no longer. So I, thankfully, I have a, I have a spreadsheet because I was not going to pick up those pieces of paper in, in between the glass. And thankfully, it landed on the floor and not in the shelf. So thankful, thankfully for that, too. Then bright or dark green is for a review book. Yellow is a mood read. Orange is a free pick. Mood read is different than free pick because mood read, I can read any time of the month. And free pick just means I get to pick whatever, but I have to pick it now. And then pink is romance, purple is my series jar, dark purple is a blind pick, Bl light blue is 25 books in 2024, that's my, you know, list that's really not going well, and then dark blue is add a book. So we're going to start off with, I was going to say eight, but that might be too many. Um, no, let's, let's go ahead and do eight. I mean, I do tend to read a lot. I read at least 15 books usually per month. So I think eight is good. So I have room for mood reading. So let's go ahead and mix it up. Okay. And hopefully we get a good mix of stars this month. I hope. Okay. So number one is going to be, I think this is a friend pick already. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. So we got a friend pick. So I'm going to put up a poll. Thankfully, I did this early, so I'm going to put up a poll, and I'm going to pick two books now, and then I will let you know what one. And I might keep it a secret poll, that way you guys don't even know what it is. For the poll pick, since it ended up being a friend pick, but you're all my friends, so you guys can help me choose, I, and yeah, I am going to put it on Instagram. I'm going to put up Shiloh by Lori Benton, which is the second book in a duology, and I'm happy to say that I'm currently reading it right now, and I should be done with it by the end of the month. Hopefully. So, but I am, I am currently enjoying it and reading it, finally. So I'm going to put the second one, and I'm going to put a flower, and if there's a leaf emoji, I'm going to put a flower and a leaf emoji for this one. And then I'm also going to put up the girl from the papers. So we're going to try to find a red hat or some kind of hat mixed with like some kind of newspaper or something like that. So those are going to be the emojis. And right now I'm going to put in what book one. So I let the poll run for a few hours. Sorry if it's a little bit dark in here because <laughs> it's now nighttime almost. Anyways, so I put these two up. The Girl from the Papers by Jennifer L. Wright and Shiloh by Larry Benton. Now, this was actually very, very close. It was only the difference between two votes. And yes, I realized I could have actually put up a poll, which would have been easier for you and easier for me. Did I? No, I didn't think of that. And I'm sorry. I'll do that next time. But I actually like doing it this way. It gets you more involved in stuff. So if the friend pick does pop up again when we get the star TBR jar, you will definitely be choosing that way because it's a lot of fun. So the winner is Shiloh by Lori Benton. I am so excited. I can finally, finally take this duology off my TBR. It's going to be good. So hopefully I will be able to get to it in August, but we're going to finally put Shiloh by Lori Benton. This is a $17.95 uh, historical fiction. We have a little bit of romance, I believe. There's also like it's set on a plantation. So that's all I'm going to say about it because I'm not too far into the first one anyways, but I'm really excited to continue it. So thank you all for voting. And I figured this one would win just because of the flower emoji, but you never know. I was really actually surprised that it was very, very close run. All right. So we're going to go in and pick number book number two. All right. So we got a light purple. Okay. Light purple is my series jar. Okay. Thankfully my series jar is tin. So hopefully it won't break. It would dent, but it wouldn't break. 
Okay, I have a bunch of series I'm currently in the middle of. Yeah, most of these are like two, three years old, but I'm still probably in the middle of them. So we're gonna give them a good shuffle. We're gonna go down to the bottom here. I hope it's something I wanna continue. Cause it's been a while. All right, what do we get? <gasps> Ooh, okay, I'm excited about this. We got the Derek Hot Tales by Melanie Dickerson. I am so thoroughly thrilled by this, you have no idea. That took way longer than it needed to to get the book. But we have The Derek Hot Tales by Melanie Dickerson. Yes, I'm still on Cloak of Scarlet. I have not read it or the last book in the series that just came out like a few months ago, but we are finally going to be reading this. It was on my TBR last month, I think. Was it for my game? I can't remember right now, but it did not get read. And I doubt it will be by the end of the month because I just have quite a few books on my TBR in July. and. But I really want to get to this. I love Melody Dickerson. Actually, I think this one was a gift from her. If I'm not mistaken, she is very, very sweet. I love her. Yes, it was. So she signed it and it was a gift from her. And I pre-ordered her other one so I could get that one signed. But I'm just really excited. I have been really enjoying this series. Anything by Melanie Dickerson, I love. I love that she now has a lineup for Bethany House. I am so excited for that. You have no idea. And I'm just really thrilled to get to dive into this one, which is a Little Red Riding Hood retelling. Very excited. Book number three, or pick number three. Let's see. It is, is that dark purple? Yes, we got dark purple, which is a blind pick. Ew. Okay. I'm actually closing my eyes now just so I don't look, but I'm thinking I'm going to pick a book off of that shelf up there. I'm not looking. I'm looking down because that is my, those are my signed books, but I have not read them yet. I either met the author or I got extra book plates from them, so I was able to put them in the books, but I have not read them. So we're just gonna blindly slap a book with one finger and we're gonna just gonna go for it. Well, I hope I landed on a book. I did not land on a book. <laughs> I hit the side of my bookshelf. It felt like a book. Let's try that again. I'm gonna lean more this way. There, okay, what did my finger land on? Ooh, okay. Interesting choice. I don't know if I'm in the mood for it right now, but interesting choice. And I do love her storytelling. So it's Anne H. Gabbard's book, When the Meadow Blooms. So we were close to hitting a couple other books too, but this is one we got. I am not mad about it. So this one is, let's see. If any place on God's earth was designed to help one heal, it is Meadowland. Surely here at her brother-in-law's Kentucky farm, Rose and her daughters can recover from the events of the recent past. The loss of her husband during the 1918 influenza epidemic, her struggle with tuberculosis that required to stay at a sanatorium, and her girl's experience in an orphanage during her illness. At Meadowland, past troubles become rich soil in which faith can grow. That sounds really good. And she does write really good characters. So I'm excited to get into it. And yes, uh, I got to meet her a few months ago. And she is a lovely human being. And she has like the best Southern accent ever. Like, I really want her to narrate her books because she just has the best voice ever. And so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and read that. Book number four. Okay. Ooh, that one kind of flew right in my hand. Ooh, a yellow. Mood read. Okay, so for this one, we don't pick a book right now. This is just a mood read. I can read whatever I want during the month, and that'll count for that. We did not get a mood read last time we picked stars, so I am really happy about this. So happy. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Let's have more mood reads. Yeah, there's more in there. So let's have more. Okay, number five. I always get excited when I do these TBR games. They're always so much fun. What do we get this time? Oh, an orange. Is that a free pick? Oh, that is a free pick. Oh, yay. A mood read and a free pick all at once. What am I in, what am I in the mood to read right now? What, what free pick do I want? Okay, so for this one, I've been wanting to pick this up since I finished the second book in the series. So I am putting The Juliet Code by Pepper Basham on my TBR. This is my free pick. I am just really in the mood to read it right now and I loved the second book. Oh, people told me how much they loved the first book, The Mistletoe Countess, but they did not tell me how amazing book two was. Like it was honestly my favorite so far in the series, even more than book one, and I just feel like this is going to be another six star read. I really love Grace and Freddie. I think they're like a perfect match pair and I love seeing married couples as, as whatever they're called, 
as main characters. We hardly ever get to see that and I just I love that and I'm excited. This one is set in Italy. They're on their delayed honeymoon when they were in Egypt in the last book. So I know there's gonna be another mystery. Oh, I'm just so excited. It's like it's like an adult version of Nancy Drew. If Nancy Drew got married and was on a honeymoon. I love it so much. Number six. What are we gonna get? Another uh, mood read would be good. <laughs> so far the TBR is looking really good so far. What we got? We got a light green, which is, oh no, this is, oh no, this is, this is green, green, not aqua green. Green. This is a review book. Okay. What do I have that needs reviewing? Okay. I am going to put on my TBR for a review book. I can't remember the title right now and I'm filming on my phone, so I do apologize, but it is Jen Toronto's newest matchmaking book which is coming out in the middle of July. I have not gotten my copy yet, but I should be getting a review copy very soon from the publishers and I'm really excited to get to it. And I actually, I actually did start it like in Neck Alley. Like I really like want to have the physical copy, but it's really good so far. I'm really enjoying it. And I don't remember what the title of the book is. I'm sorry, but it, but it is the Matchmakers series by Jen Toronto. It's the third book and final book in the series. I am just so excited to continue it. It's been a lot of fun. This one is about a man who he wants to hire the matchmaker, like the matchmaker that's been in the, in the other books, uh, for his sister to kind of get her back in society because she's kind of like a rogue girl back then. And I just, I'm enjoying it so far. And yeah, I think I'm going to choose that one as my review book. Okay. All right. What we got here? Pink. Is that romance? Romance. You know, that's like literally the only uh, genre I actually have on this jar. Uh, that might change. Like I could change it to thriller sometime or whatever. But pink is romance because obviously it's pink. And okay, so any romance. That should be good. Not that I need to add any more books onto my TBR that aren't already on there, but I really want to read more of this author's work. So we're going to do it. We're going to add Grace Hitchcock on our list. I read her first book ever from her last month, To Catch a Coronet. Oh, if you love historical rom-coms, please pick her up. She is phenomenal. So I'm going to go pick up the American Royalty series book one called My Dear Miss Dupree. I picked this up during um, book shopping last month and I'm just really excited to get to it. One of my friends bought me the second book. Yes, the second book, which is I think still downstairs. I have to <laughs> grab it and bring it up here, but we're going to read it. So this one, it says 30 suitors, six months of courting. Would it be enough time for her to fall in love? 30 suitors? Are you kidding? Willa Dupree never thought she would have to marry, but with her father's unexpected retirement from running the prosperous Dupree sugar refinery, she is forced into a different future. The shareholders are unwilling to allow a female to take over the company without a man at her side, so her parents devise a plan. Find Willow a spokesman king in order for her to become queen of the business empire. Willow is presented with 30 potential suitors from the families of New York Society's elite group called the 400. 30 suitors. Oh man, this is going to be a trip. A trip for sure. 30 suitors. No wonder there's like so many guys in the background there. It's funny what all those men were doing there. It's going to be so much fun. I know it. Oh, this is going to be great. Great read. Oh, I'm so happy I put this on the list. It's getting read in August. Book number seven. Oh, this is book number eight. <laughs> Why did I think I, I had two more picks? This is, this is our last book. Okay. Let's see what we get. I'm so excited. I'm hoping for another free pick or mood read, although our TBR is looking fantastic this month. Probably one of the best months I've ever picked books for. And here we go. We got another fun pick. Oh no, another fun pick. Oh dear. Um, hmm. Again, I'm probably going to have to do a poll. I'm probably going to do a different poll and I'll put it on my, my YouTube, I was going to say shorts, my YouTube uh, community tab for this one. And we're going to go with, let's see what two books I want to put on this one. I think for this friend poll, I'm going to put in two sci-fis. So I'm going to put in technically the first book because I'm still in the first book. I never finished it when I wanted to. So the first one is, I can never remember the title. Recorder. So we're going to put in, I only have book two physically, but we're going to put in Recorder by Kathy McCrum. 
as the first book. This is a sci-fi, um, where, like, they're supposed to be, like, not necessarily robots, but, like, they're part of society that's, like, only supposed to be, like, as servants and stuff, and so I think one goes rogue because, like, her, like, chip in her brain isn't working anymore, so, like, they're like, oh, you know, they're trying to keep her hidden, I think. That's in, like, book one. I have to probably restart that one because I don't remember. But we're going to put this one, and I think we're going to put something to do with, like, a space emoji. And then I'm going to do um, maybe a human emoji for the girl or something. Or maybe maybe there's, like, a superhero or a cape or something to kind of go with the cover. And then the other one I'm going to put on is Morgan L. Bussey's second book in her Skyworld duology, which is Blood Secrets, since I am buddy reading the first book this month with a friend of mine so if I can get book two on that'd be great and maybe we can buddy read that one together in August so this is a sci-fi I think it's more dystopian I think but it says I think it's about like society time is running out there's like a dangerous mist or something happening and so either one would work and I would be happy so I will put in which one won right here so you all voted on these two and I forgot to say that for the blood secrets by Morgan Albussy. I was going to put like a cogwheel and smoke. So that's what I did. And this was a surprise win for me. And it was like a landslide for one of them. I honestly thought this was going to win because like I put the galaxy and I put like a person in a cape. I was like, this is like for sure going to win. But you all surprised me and Blood Secrets won. I was like, what? So apparently the, the cogs wheel and the smoke going Either you knew what, what book I was talking about, which you could have if you've been around a while. You know, that's one of the only books that really has that kind of feel to it. But we are going to be reading this. I am so excited. I can't wait to read it. Yay! Okay, so we have our pile of books here. We don't have Jen Toronto's newest release, but Jen Toronto's is up there for a review book. Then we have My Dear Miss Dupree by Grace Hitchcock for Romance. We have The Juliet Code by Pepper Basham for... I think that was a free pick. Uh, the Cloak of Scarlet by Melanie Dickerson. That was a series jar pick. When the Meadow Blooms by Anne H. Gabbard. That was a blind pick. And then Shiloh by Lori Benton is going to be one of the friend picks. And Blood Secrets by Morgan Albussy is the other friend pick. So those are all the books on my August TBR plus, you know, all the other books I'd love to read in August, <laughs> but I think it's going to be a great, great time. And there is actually at least two readathons that I would like to take part in in August. There is Catch Upathon, which is hosted by two booktubers. I will link both of their channels down below, but it's, it's technically for book of the month books, but because I haven't had book of the month in a while and I really don't have that many on my shelves, I'm going to use it to catch up in my Nutgelly arcs, which I probably should have put some of those on my TBR. Oh well. <laughs> Anyways, so that readathon, and then there is another readathon which I will put the co-host down below as well. It is I can't remember I can't remember what it's called, but it's like it's a team-based competition one that has to do with a deck of cards, and it's a lot of fun. And I'm definitely going to be joining in. They have teams for either TBR makers or mood readers. I join the TBR makers, even though I do ten. I do actually mood read too. I do both. But I think it's going to be lots of fun. I will link both the announcement videos down below. So definitely check them out if you want more readathons in August. I'm not hosting any. I am free in August. August is usually a nice, quiet month for readathons for me. So it's going to be lots of fun. Let me know what you're reading. If you're joining in any readathons in August, I would love to know. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.